Since the birth of Dolly the sheep in 1996, scientists have managed to clone about 20 species, including cats, goats, and sheep. Now they've taken a step towards something a lot more controversial, cloning a human. What the scientists have done is created a human embryonic clone. They start by taking a human egg, take out the nucleus, and then they take a skin cell from a patient, take the skin cell and put it into this denucleated egg. The skin cell that's been transferred is sort of the software and the egg acts like a hardware and the hardware essentially boots up the software and creates an embryonic clone. From the embryonic clone the scientists can derive other stem cells and go on to make heart tissue or nerve tissue or any other tissue that goes on to make a person. The goal of this research has nothing to do really with cloning. Cloning is just a tool. The idea is to create fresh tissue in a lab. If someone has a heart attack and you have scarring inside, you could use fresh tissue made in the lab to treat that scarring. If someone has a nerve ailment like Alzheimer's disease, you could transplant lab-made tissue into the person and hopefully treat that kind of malady. One of the biggest challenges in creating a human clone is that very few scientists are going to be willing to try this kind of experiment. The reason is it's incredibly controversial. It's banned in many, if not most, countries, and it would provoke a huge outcry. However, there's always an outlier or two among the science fraternity who in some country, in some underground lab, may be willing to try and clone a human. Scientists have been able to clone various species, but they've made no headway really in cloning a monkey. And primates, like humans, seem to have egg cells that are a lot more fragile. So maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so difficult. For them to actually make headway in cloning a person, they'd have to refine the process a great deal more, and that seems to be a long way off, probably many, many years.